The roughness of the walls of a pipe affect the size of turbulent eddies in the flow. In a smooth-walled pipe, the eddies are weak, but in a rough-walled pipe, the eddies are strong, and that means that there is an increased eddy viscosity, and therefore an increased pressure drop down the pipe. And the roughness is quantified by the ratio of the roughness height to the diameter of the pipe. So that's K divided by D. As for smooth pipes, once you get to the transitional and turbulent regime, it's impossible to predict exactly what is going on inside the pipe. However, for a given Reynolds number and a given pipe roughness, one can measure the friction coefficient, and then one can plot the friction coefficient as a function of the Reynolds number and the pipe roughness. So we see that all pipe roughnesses behave the same under laminar flow, that at high Reynolds number, as the roughness increases, so does the friction coefficient, and that the most varied behavior happens at these intermediate Reynolds numbers. And this chart is known as a Moody chart, and I've taken this one from a book called Internal Flow Systems by D.S. Miller.